All right, guys, so today we are going to work on a magazine cover. Now, one of the big components to this is I went to reviewing a few of the Photoshop tools and functions that we've been working on the last two weeks. All right, so the tool review section, we're going to be using the move tool, type tool, different types of layer orders, panels, paintbrush, shape tool, a layer masks, tool option bar, file types, and image modes. All right, so the magazine requirements, you're going to have to have the title. You're going to mask that behind the person's head. At least four text layers, two different colors, stories and topics. Font should fit with the magazine style. At least two shapes or graphics that you're using and a barcode. Now you're going to search through the images that we just took for the portrait type project. The head and shoulders, three quarter and full length. Now you get to choose which one of those you want to use for my magazine cover. I'm going to use one of the images that I took for Scuba Lab and create a scuba diving cover. So I'm going to want to go to Google and search for Scuba Diving Magazine logo. Now whatever magazine you decide to use, just go ahead and search for their logo. And then you can see that this is a cover they've used. And then you'll see a couple different versions of their logos. All right, so you can simply just select one and then you can right click save image as and then you're going to be going into your and save that as scuba logo if you can find a png that's better because then it'll just be the text but if you can't you can get a jpeg image and then just select that go ahead and grab another one just so you can see that in case you end up having one that's not a PNG. Now I also want you to have a barcode so just simply Google barcode and anyone is fine and you can go ahead and save that. And again you should be saving all of these in your magazine cover folder inside of the unit 4 folder. All right, so now you're going to open Photoshop, go to File, Open, and I'm going to go to the Unit 4 Portraits and select the one that I want to use, the full body. All right, so again, we want to make sure that we go ahead and clean up any distracting marks on this so that when you look at the cover, you're not distracted by any of those. So right now, my eye automatically goes over here. So I'm going to go ahead and make a background copy. So remember, we always want to have this background to fall back on if we need any components from that. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And for now, I'm just going to use the patch tool. Outline this. Go ahead and see that lets that blend in a little bit better. All right, so we want to go ahead and open our logo. I'll go ahead and open both of these just in case you got one that wasn't a PNG. So you can see here the PNG just has the text alone, which is really nice because then you can just grab it with your move tool, move over, and drop. All right, and then again, Control T is going to allow you to resize it. Remember, you need to hold down the Shift key so you don't distort the text and again you might realize it right now wow that's really blurry it's just because it hasn't rendered when you hit enter it'll render and then you can see that it sharpens up now if you got one that wasn't like that since this is a solid background let's go ahead and just select that and then you're gonna see it selects all of that we want to make sure that we also select the space in between the letters and a quick trick here is we're just going to go to select inverse and then now it is selected just the text and then you could do the same. All right, so either method, if you can't find a PNG with just the text, then you can do that. OK, I'm just going to crop in a little bit more centering them. And I can move that text. Centered. 
Now, if you go and you search that magazine that you're using, for different covers, get an idea of how that magazine typically runs their themes. You're gonna see that they often change the colors of that to match. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and just come in and select the diving portion of this. And there's a lot of yellow in this image, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and select just these components of the diving. So once I have all of this selected, just go ahead and right click layer via cut. And now it's its own portion. I'm gonna double click. That's gonna bring up our layer style. Remember that's the shortest way to get to that. You could also right click or come down to the FX. Or if you really want, you can go up to the menu bar. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change the color overlay. Remember, you don't wanna just check one of these you actually want to check on it and then make sure it's highlighted so that you can then go in and edit that. So I'm going to scroll around here and select some of this bright yellow like that. And then again, your effects can hide or reveal. And so here, remember, we want to have this masked out so it shows up behind here. And I'm just going to use our layer mask. Now this allows you to practice your layer masks. You wanna grab a hard brush so that it has the hard edge there. And the size much smaller. And remember, black hides, white reveals. So like there, I went a little too far. All you have to do is switch it to white and you can have that come right back and switch it back. Now we want to go up to the scuba and add a layer mask to that, so we can do the same. And if you're a little confused on where the line is, you can just change the opacity, and then you'll be able to see right where the edge of the person is. and then remember to bump the opacity back up. I'm also going to add an effects to this scuba. Let's go ahead and make this white. It's gonna allow it to pop out a little bit more against that darker background there. Now I did a shoot for the scuba lab, so I'm gonna see if I can get the scuba lab logo get a font that is going to match the style of the text that's already there. I'm going to grab a font that looks very similar to the font that they use. Now remember you can just grab your type tool or you could also go to window and grab your character panel and then you'll have all of these options show up here. I'm going to create a text box over here. I want you to be creating a couple different stories, so find stories that kind of match the theme of the magazine. with our color theme here. With a lot of these stories, they do typically put a page number, so I'm going to create a smaller box down here and just make up a page number.
You can grab your barcode and drop it on there. Now if you did a file open and you had the barcode open on one of these instead, you might notice that the image mode is an index. And so when you try to move it over, it's gonna give you an error. So what you have to do is you have to go to image mode and switch it to an RGB, which is the same format that the cover image you're working on is. All right, and then it will show up. Now, many of your covers will also have some type of stroke. Go ahead and unlock your background. And let's go to our canvas size. So image canvas size. And let's make this relative. And let's start off with like a 0 0.5 by 0.5. All right, and so that gives us a little bit of space on the outsides. And then we can add a blank layer behind layer one. And remember wherever this is at is gonna be the placement in front. So let's say if we have it down here, it's gonna be behind all of these. So let's go ahead and dump a white for mine on there. And so it's now at the very back here. So behind all of these layers. So if I bring this up in front of, remember it goes in front of, if I move it in front of that, so if it's above over here, it's in front of, and if it's below, it's behind. So let's create another story down here. Now who can tell me what's going on here? So I was playing around with the background and started typing. Remember, whatever layer you're selected on, it's going to place that right above that. So I was on the background here, so then it's behind everything. So I wanna be able to see it, so I need to bring it to the front, in front of the image itself. Now to help stand, make this stand out from the background, I'm gonna go ahead and grab our shape tool. Once you've placed all your components there, go ahead and go up to File, Save As. And you can name it your last name. 
magazine cover. And I would save a PSD version for yourself. And then save a JPEG version for submission.